Geneva? Oh. Did he take that decision to lose cores on Burgoyne? He did. Yeah, I don't actually I don't know why I took that, but whatever. I just clicked it because it was UD. <laughs> Fucking plastics rushing to annex Geneva. Of course he is. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, look at look at the word justification. Fuck it. That's cheeky. Oh fuck it out. Probably doing it for a gun. Oh fuck, you guys do have a border actually, I just realized. What Damn, that is slogan? cheeky. No, plastic and fucking burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fight him if he tries to do that. I mean, I would do the same if I were you. I, I do, I do get what they're doing. <laughs> it's a bit funny actually. <laughs> Right. Otherwise, I will say this though, cop patriot. If you take territory, if you try to take territory, if you have to fight him and you take territory off him, I will break truce on you because I have a core on you. Mm -hmm. But if you just defend Geneva, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> this is kind of fun kind of funny, actually. Actually, that territory would be bad for you to take, anyways. It'd be hard. You wouldn't be able to hold it. Yeah, but it's accepted, pop. Yeah, no, I'm saying the stuff on plastic. I'm not saying. Oh, uh, I, I'm saying if you try to take like Bavaria or some shit, I'd be like, eh. I don't know about that. How how they even break free? I didn't even see rebels down there. Uh, I think it's because I I didn't read the treaty. Thing. I for some reason I I just clicked the decision that took my cores away from Burgundy because I saw blue. Oh. And I was like, I want to click that. Um, that sucks. So I, I didn't re realize it would break way right too. Ooh, that's nasty. Italy's itching for Switzerland or some shit? What is he doing? What? <laughs> Does Italy <laughs> want Switzerland? That's my accepted yeah. pops. That's not cool. He can attack some well, mountains. If not, uh, I'm not joining because uh, I don't Actually, have I wouldn't care if you took East so. Switzerland. That doesn't have that much. Or maybe some colonies in. Uh... Yeah, I, I would. You know what, Italy? If you took that, I would give you infamy for colonies. I'd, I'd support you getting colonies. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm building you, uh, the navy, so I can get colonies. Me, now. If you give me Switzerland, if you fight this. Okay, yeah, I can get to Switzerland. But, uh, I'm not sure. To... This is gonna be strange. Actually, why are we no. allied? We should be. We should be friends. We are. So, uh, Shark, you want this? I I'm taking Switzerland. Then, if you uh, win the war, I mean, I'll I'll support. I'll either I'll either give you infamy or like support you getting colonies for it. Okay. So, to to be honest, the only part about this I really find too strange is the Italy part of it. Warning. Just, you know, just you just know, he's joining a war to gain infamy he while he's at zero infamy. <laughs> I don't know either, dude. I don't know. Look, look, look. I was born. Like, oh, here's how I started. I'm sitting here. You know, I, I have Listen, nowhere to guys. go now. I, feel, like, okay, I figure Italy would like declare oh, war on guys, you or Guys, or guys, guys, this guy has plans and needs a lot of infamy for what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> he's got ambitions. Car Patriot. <laughs> Only the dead will know peace from where he's going. It's it's a 112k pop I can use. You lose your CB? No. Why are you jacking the second one? So I can outlast the CB. Maybe he did lose it. Oh, oh no. Yes. Plastic will last longer. <laughs> I mean, you won't. Your CB won't outlast my sphere. That's true. But your your sphere won't outlast the fucking truces. <laughs> All this over Jin. <laughs> maybe, so but funny. Conquest is eighty five. That's true. But maybe this isn't for Geneva. Maybe it's just to make a point. Maybe we will fight a world war over Geneva. Fuck it. Hmm. Dude, I'm I'm ready, man. I don't care. I'm ready too. I'm making 50 ammunition all of a sudden. I'm so ready. ready to go. <laughs> I make 50 ammunition too and 57 can goods. Good job. You scale with hungry. Congrats. Yeah. Let's I see. mean, look at my country, man. I mean, look at my country. It's a fucking Balkan shit fest. What I'm do you a want little, from me? I'm a little. I should know. I invaded it. He did. And he saw the horrors in the country.
Wow. He did it. He did it, Plastic. I'm proud of you. Come on, right. Plastic. Oh, now, bro. Alright, All right, you gotta do it. The diplomatic play over Geneva has ended. <laughs> oh, shit. Italy. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it. Wait, I'm actually doing it? Oh. Wait, do it. What? He's decking me. Do it. Come on, chop, oh. chop. Unpause deck. Get unpause. the aliens. Right, listen. Plastic, oh, listen to me, right? Italy is a new player. If you win, if you win, Plastic, go easy. Don't take anything. He's a new player. It's fine. I may not win for all I know, so we'll see. I'm also not plastic, really... Plastic, plastic if you win, maybe you can take a colony that isn't 10 life rating in the middle of Africa. This <laughs> is alarming. No, wait, 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 guys, guys, I'm sorry. His colony going, got one of those events to lower life rating. It's only gonna 9 life rating. You're gonna need that, Italy, okay? I just feared I, I didn't even fucking pay attention, attention because I was yes, like... Thanks. Plastic, call me in. Right. I'm sending in like for the fence. Fuck off. If you join, really? I'm decking on you. Don't... <laughs> no, you can't. Right. No, no, I'm not calling him in. It's fine. He's are you guys cool with this being a one versus one? Yeah, I'm yes. Personally, I'm not, but if you want it to be, I guess I've I can't really oh. fight dual monarchy, dude. That's oh, just... okay. Is that, is Look, that what's I want, happening? I want to keep it a 1v1, but Italy is my boy. And if, uh... I mean, he did mobilize and he made waited for me to demobilize. Yeah, like that, is, I think that, is, that is fucking cheeky. That's very know. cheeky. I was fine with a 1v1 if you didn't be, do something that. What's wrong that, you with know, cheeky? Something. You were cheeky to your teachers at Anyways. school. I was never cheeky to my teachers. Don't it, it, discredit I mean, me. Italy's whole army is getting annihilated here, so I think... I know, I know, out. I know. It was a bad play on his part, but we'll just maybe he can pull play. through. Maybe he can actually do this. Well, you should mobilize, though, obviously. I am mobilized. I am. Anyways, I'll say this, though. If you try to take Dalmatia, I will intervene. Yeah. That, I think that's fair. If you try to take Venice, I'll intervene. Eh? <laughs> no, I'm gonna take Connie's off, though. Uh, I think that's fair. Will Italy learn how to cycle a battle? No. Yes. No. Well, that's the aim of this fucking war. He's new. He's gonna learn here. Learning is French. It's, it's practice. It's practice. Uh, you know how I'm just do doing it. Like... Italy, want me to explain something to you? That's very vital yeah. in this war. Yes. So how I'm about you make sure... a 10 second meme about it? I'm... <laughs> I'm not sure if Hungary's noticed yet, but... The moment he gets enough troops, he can attack you from Garitza into Udin and completely encircle your army. No, wait, no, put that back in Trent. Put that back in Trent right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> put that back in Trent, please. We're about to lose. Split to it lose in half. Uh, I, I, I think. Fuck uh, it. No, I, I got it. Right, yeah, you do, cunt. Italy, Just do you hold. know what cycling a battle is? Yes, I know. He was right. doing Who some. Who taught it to you? Because I have some criticisms. Oh.
need to go to Trent, because that's, uh, he's moving there, fuck me. Ugh. Hey, like, the funny thing about your border with the enemy is you need to garrison it. Yeah, that's what I did, but, uh... Well, you're still not moving to garrison it while he's currently invading it. You can actually probably move in before him. Use one of the armies that's right next to it, you'll move a lot faster. At this point, the war ends here, with quite a limited peace. Hungary takes one small island in the Caribbean. But let's look at the war in its entirety. Despite the appearance of a big cohesive alliance bloc in Europe, it's actually multiple chains of alliances working together. The Italians help the dual monarchy, the Hungarians help the Albians, and the Albians and the dual monarchy are helping each other. We saw that Hungary and Italy tried to take advantage of Burgundy's Geneva incident, but quickly realized that not only would attacking the mountains be quite difficult, but they'd also be expected to give up their territories to their allies. This leads to de-escalation, and a pretty smart move from Italy. Italy sees that Hungary is just demobilized, while Italy himself is still fully mobbed. He then launches a surprise attack on Hungary, or it would have been had it not been for the alliance between them, which delayed the war for seven days due to diplomat times. In this time, Hungary managed to start his own mobilization and move his army to his border. Although, I don't think the failed surprise is what caused Italy to fail the push. What caused his losses was micromanagement. In most battle phases, Italy fought under combat with, with deorged units, with nearly two to one casualties that reflect this. If Italy had taken the time to cycle out depleted armies and concentrate his attacks, he might have broken through and won the war. Classic, good plan, bad execution. Ultimately, this war was very low stakes from the beginning. The dual monarchy and Albions wanted this war to end as quickly as possible for the smallest peace deal possible, because neither the dual monarchy or the Albion confederation wanted to escalate a conflict with each other, instead hoping to focus on finishing their partition of Burgundy. The peace deal of the war was a small island to give to Hungary for a little reward for his win, but not anything significant enough to warrant a future war. In the end, the European alliance stayed strong. In the 1862 Persia War, we had previously considered having Italy intervene with me against Hungary and the Ottomans for Istria. He had declined at the time as he hadn't received cores in the region yet. Having the current circumstances in mind now, it's questionable to say whether or not staying neutral then was the right choice. Perhaps Italy could have joined and rode my victory train, but it's not easy to say how escalation would have turned out. Would the Albians and dual monarchy have stayed neutral? Would the war have escalated into a world war? It's anyone's guess. But now it seems that Italy has given up his attempts to annex Istria. Where would this take him next? <laughs>